Hey what's up guys Tektine here and I am back again with a brand new video so before I begin this video as always you know how we do it I want to thank you all so much for watching this one if you enjoy my videos make sure you leave a thumbs up also make sure you're following me on Instagram I post a lot of stories to keep you guys up to date on the latest and greatest tech and I'm also planning on doing a giveaway but it's only going to be announced and done on my Instagram so my Instagram name will be down below so yeah my Instagram name would be down below with that being said, let's go ahead and get started and talk about today's video. So in today's video, we're going to be actually unboxing and taking a look at the Motorola Moto G Stylus. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. So let's lift up the phone and right off the bat, I mean, this is a hefty phone but let's put it to the side we also get our motorola wall adapter as well as your usb-c cord so here's how the contents of the box look like and yeah nothing crazy so yeah uh, after the unboxing here's the phone itself it's definitely a large phone so i'm gonna go ahead and set it up and spend some time with it and we'll talk about the impressions of the actual phone okay so the setup of the phone is complete i've spent a couple of hours with this phone and i can give you guys my overall impressions so starting with the design itself so this is a 6.8 inch screen and it's a 1080p screen okay so it's for, uh, 2400 by 1080p i'll talk about the screen in a little bit on the bottom of the phone you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack you have your usb type c you have your speaker a microphone right next to the speaker as well as the main feature of the phone which is the stylus on the right hand side you have your uh, power button which doubles as your fingerprint sensor and it has this indentation with the um, with the housing with the corners of the phone to indicate that hey this is the power button slash fingerprint and a problem that i have with the power button write off impressions is that it's okay so it's clicky but you have to use extra force to actually click it so it's not really comfortable when pressing the power button but hey i guess that's just gonna take some time to get used to and you also have your volume up and down okay so on the top you just have a microphone and the the sides of the phone has this nice chrome shiny finish i think it gives it a pleasant look and on the back you also have your quad camera setup so you have your main camera which is a 48 megapixel sensor and it is at f 1.7 aperture so it's a 26 millimeter standard wide lens and you also have your 8 megapixel f 2.2 and it is an ultra wide at 118 degrees you also have two more cameras which one of them will act as your depth sensor and the other one will act as a macro sensor and they're both two megapixels both useless practically okay so one cool feature about this um and you also have this led flash it's not like a xenon flash it is it does look like one but it's not one cool feature about this camera which i will be uh reviewing extensively is that this phone can is actually capable of recording 4k so this might be one of the cheapest phones that you can record 4k with and the front in the in the display itself you have your front facing camera and it is a 16 megapixel sensor with f2.0 and it's a standard wide sensor and it does support hdr and you can record up to 1080p video with it so the motorola does have the best way to launch a camera which is basically just shake it back and forth and you'll greet you'll get greeted with the camera app and it's literally just snap and shoot and that's it so you have the option to switch between your standard and your wide angle which are the main two cameras and the pictures write off impressions under good lighting they seem to be pretty good i mean i can't really base it off just by looking at one picture so definitely a full extensive camera review will be coming soon so make sure you're subscribed and follow me on instagram for the latest updates on when that when that video will be out and the back and the back overall has the it looks really good i mean i like it personally so it does have textures so not texture it does have this kind of 
dot pattern it doesn't really provide any texture however it's the it's just there for aesthetics you either like it or hate it now the camera on the back also has a bump so it does protrude quite a bit um it's nothing like ridiculous but it's there and you will be able to notice it so this display so again i said it's a 6.8 inch lcd display it's 2400 by 1080p it's definitely a nice display so the colors on it look really good um and overall a very satisfactory display now under bright lights you're gonna suffer because it's not really the brightest thing in the world however as a package overall i think it's a very nice display so now let's talk about this phone's main feature which is the stylus so similar to the lg stylo 6 rest in peace lg smartphones so yeah all you'll really have to do is just click and the stylus will, will sort of pop out and you just have to pull the rest of the stylus out to access it and you do get options to what you can do with a stylus so there's this little um little circle with a pin around it so that gives you your features and when you click on it you ha have um you have a couple of features that you can choose from right off the default settings so for example you can just take a screenshot and from the screenshot you can draw you can do crazy things with it um, and you have this coloring book and again you can just get creative and do a lot of things so oh shoot i just messed it up let me just delete that okay so also what you can do is actually when you click on that circle with a pin you can go to the camera and do some sort of like kind of gif recording and something like that i'm still playing around with it i'm still trying to figure it out so stay with me on that and you also have your settings toggle which will allow you to add other additional options you, you also can have this kind of a blackboard so you can write on it take some notes and do things of that sort so for example let's see so let's just write subscribe oh my god my handwriting sucks on this let's do that again so let's write subscribe let's see okay slightly better i guess i just need some time to get used to it so yeah with that being said i mean this is my full impressions of the motorola moto g stylus what do you guys think so let me know in the comments below if you have any questions dm me on instagram or just ask me down below and yeah i want to end it here i want to thank you all so much for watching this one if you enjoyed it make sure you leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and i will catch you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching